be a fun time here in Paula's Kitchen today. I've got one of Savannah's top chefs, y'all, and he's gonna be cooking some of his tastiest dishes. Well, I'm smacking my lips here. Our main course is a flavorful grilled strip tease steak with a creamy truffle potato and a carrot puree. Look at that cream and butter. Butter Life makes everything don't better. don't get no better, does it? I'm fixing the perfect appetizer, y'all. Succulent sea scallops with a cool pineapple cucumber salsa. Do you like it? Mm hmm. I love it. And dessert is one of Patrick's signature dishes, a chocolate molten love cake. I'm ready for a little love, baby. <laughs> Today, I want to expose y'all to some local cuisine. There's a young man in the historic section of Savannah that has a restaurant called Noble Fair. This yeah. is Patrick <laughs> McNamara, y'all. And he is owner and chef of this precious little restaurant. It's the buzz of Savannah. So. Fantastic. Having said that, Tell everybody hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> We're glad to have you yeah, here, Yeah, thanks Patrick. for having us. Appreciate so, it. So what are, what are you making? Well, I'm peeling some Yukon Gold potatoes. I'm gonna do a white, beautiful potato truffle puree. And uh, we're gonna grill a perfect steak today. We're gonna keep it real simple. Oh my God, do I love steaks, y'all? Yes, I love steaks. Why don't I just help you finish these carrots and get them in the pot for you? And what are we doing with these, Patrick? What we're gonna do is make a beautiful carrot puree. Just boil the carrots. Yum. Through a little food mill, salt, white pepper, and a little heavy cream. You romantic little <laughs> devil, you. That's cream it. and potatoes Ooh. and steak. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, you've got me so hooked. That's great. All right, now I can tell by your accent that you are not from Savannah. Uh, no, ma'am, I was born and raised on the west side of Cleveland. Uh -huh. And uh, went to school in Charleston, South Carolina, to Johnson Wales. I was going to say, did, are you a graduate of Johnson and Wales? Yes, ma'am. Well, how did you wind up in Savannah? Uh, well, it was my first St. Paddy's Day parade in '91. Oh my God! <laughs> There's so many of you little Yankees yeah. that that wind up staying after St. Patrick's yes. Day. So that's how we got you. Absolutely. <laughs> That's a heck of a party <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, that we throw here in Savannah. Now, do you need any salt or anything in any of these pots? Uh, I not finished in the pots. up your carrots. Yeah, when we're done, when we're done, we do when I finish. Well, I in turn am gonna make a dish for Patrick. I'm gonna make our appetizers. I'm gonna be searing up some scallops with a cool pineapple cucumber salsa. So how old are you, Patrick? I am, I will be 40 in May. Oh, you shut so, up. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Time's been kind to you. Yes. I have my scallops here. Look at these beautiful, beautiful. sea scallops y'all I've got for us. Now I'm just gonna quickly salt and pepper each side of them, cause I want them to have plenty of seasoning. And I'm gonna get my pan real hot y'all. And then I'm just gonna kind of sear these off. So in the pan they go. Beautiful. Aren't they beautiful? Mm-hmm. And I'm using about two pounds of sea scallops. All right, now I'm just gonna wash my hands. Now Patrick's been down there dicing up our pineapple and we're gonna need about one cup. All right, so now while those are searing off, I've got a beautiful burpless cucumber here, y'all and I'm just gonna strip it down with my peeler. I don't wanna peel it completely. I left to leave a little of the green on it for color. Patrick, I hear that you and your wife have been in the restaurant business now for quite a while. Me and my wife, Jenny, uh, when we met, we met in the restaurant and- uh, Oh, you of, did? Yeah, we met in the walk-in cooler in Chagrin Falls, Ohio, so. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to do something really personable, really uh, intimate. Patrick's chopping up one tablespoon of red onion, and then he's gonna give us a teaspoon of jalapeno pepper, and he's gonna chop us up some cilantro to go in our salsa. So I'm gonna turn our scallops. Beautiful. Aren't they beautiful? Mm-hmm. So in go the cucumbers. Now I'm gonna zest this lime, this beautiful lime, because lime is just 
fabulous in any kind of salsa, isn't it? Mm -hmm, absolutely. All right, so I'm gonna put the juice of this lime now in here, and I'm using my fingertips to kind of just crush up that pulp. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add about a fourth a teaspoon of hot sauce just to give that jalapeno in there a little kick. All right. So if you'll great. pass me those plates, Patrick. Absolutely. I will plate up our scallops. Okay. All right, there's okay. yours, sweetie. All right. And if you'll just top them with some okay. salsa. Smells great. Doesn't it smell great? Absolutely. Okay. Have a seat, All my right. dear. Well, thank you so much. This looks wonderful. Oh, no, smells thank great. you. Dig in, baby. All right. <laughs> mm. Do you like it? Mm. I love it. Mmm. Mm. Hot and cold together, it's beautiful. Mm-hmm. And speaking of the hot, I feel a little of the jalapeno. Mm-hmm. Here it comes. <laughs> I'm doing it to work in yeah. my mouth. That's great. Oh gosh, this is yummy. Coming up. Patrick's fixing us a meal that's gonna leave you speechless. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and later, Patrick's wife Jenny joins us in a little bit of love. This is incredible. Incredible. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Welcome back, y'all. Today is all about local flavors here in Savannah. And Patrick McNamara is here with me from Noble Fair. And he is kind enough to share some of his recipes with us today. I understand, Patrick, that your restaurant is sexy. Yes, ma'am. You probably have a lot of people coming in for first dates mm -hmm. or anniversaries, mm -hmm. things That's like correct. that. Mm -hmm. Patrick's gonna make his favorite restaurant recipe, y'all. It's a grilled New York strip tease with truffle potatoes and carrot puree. Well, put some sex on us, honey. Okay, well, we're gonna start with a sexy bottle of Red Bordeaux wine. And we're gonna take one cinnamon stick, a couple star anise, and we're gonna throw it in there. And we're just gonna let- Cinnamon stick, just yep. a couple of these. Yeah, uh, yes ma'am. Of anise, isn't mm -hmm. that beautiful, y'all? And we're gonna get that reducing, and then we're gonna take two thirds of a cup of our Savannah honey. This is the Tupelo honey. She has a little orange essence uh -huh. to it a little bit. I love honey. And we're gonna reduce that down to a syrup consistency, probably a half hour on medium heat. Okay. We're gonna put a little heavy cream in. For All right, well you just potatoes. Tell me what to okay. do, honey. Okay, I'll tell you what, two ounces of butter going with our heavy cream. Two ounces. And that'll be for our uh, um, carrot puree. You know, puree. I'm not used to ounces in butter. That would be two tablespoons or just cut a piece in half. <laughs> I'm gonna take the potatoes mm. down here and get them ready okay. for the ricer. Well, why Here, we, let, me, okay. let me help you. Why we use them is just to keep a little bit of texture, mm -hmm. but to make them smooth. Don't over whip yeah. them, don't beat them yeah. up. Load them up, baby. Load them up. There we go. All right. Patrick, let me help you with that. Ooh, this is Dirty good stiff. for building muscles. Absolutely. <laughs> That's good exercise. This is like for the bust. <laughs> and meanwhile, I'm going to do a little salt and pepper on the steaks. We've chosen an American Angus uh -huh. beef, which mm -hmm. is aged 28 days. And why 28 days, Patrick? It'll make the steak taste like butter if you grill it properly. I'm not afraid to season these. Me either. And you know, I don't like a lot of tricky things on my steaks, y'all. I like salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. We're just using kosher salt, which I, I love use kosher it. kosher salt. That's what I keep in here. And I just do it real simple. Salt and pepper both sides. Make sure it's really hot and put them on. That Ooh. cream should be ready with the uh, butter. All right, now this is a scald. Mm -hmm. A scald is just before a bowl, y'all. So this is ready. Okay, I'm gonna bring the carrots down for our carrot puree. 
I'm just uh -huh. going to go straight into the blender. Are we going to do this? Oh, okay. We're going to do the potatoes the and the uh, carrots together. I'm enjoying this, y'all. I'm just getting to stand around, drink my coffee, and look at the scenery. <laughs> Great. And taste the food. All right, now, are you through with this? If you are, I'll put yes. it away. Okay, I'll tell you what. Okay. I'll mix this up if you want to drizzle in a little okay. bit of that scalded want... cream and butter. Look at that cream and butter. Mm -hmm. Can't beat it. Butter Life makes everything don't better. Get no better, does it? No, I love it. I'm going to be embalmed with butter, I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's good there. And I'll tell you what, we're going to put a little truffle oil. Just, okay. Just a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. Yeah. We just want to make it a little earthy. Salt and white pepper. And what about our carrots, Patrick? We're going to take some of that leftover cream and butter. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. We're going to pour it in there. We're going to puree it okay. so it becomes paper smooth. Okay. You used um, a white pepper. Correct. I noticed in there. And uh, tell everybody why you would use a white pepper versus a black pepper. White pepper, I was always taught, use it with a white product, whether it's a white sauce, white potato, White fish, okay. whatever it is, it kind so of. So it, it's strictly so that you won't see it, that it blends in with Correct. whatever you're cooking. Okay, we're just going to puree this up so it gets a nice smooth texture. How much cream did you put in there? About a quarter cup, and then uh, we use. To how many carrots? To I would say about a pound and a half of carrots. Okay. And those carrots okay, should be definitely. right on the money. It's a beautiful color. Mm hmm. Steaks are doing good, and we're just going to flip them because it looks like they're ready to flip okay. here. I can't hardly wait to taste. Up next, Patrick's going to plate our mouth-watering meal. This is fabulous. And later, we'll make the most heavenly dessert. The chocolate smell is out of this world. I hope y'all are enjoying the show, and I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. All right, I'm going to be straining our reduction for you, Patrick. All right. And we're getting very, very close. Welcome back, y'all. I'm smacking my lips here. All right. That Looks and smells great. Now that was just a nice red wine, a cinnamon stick, and a couple of pieces of anise. And that Perfect. was it, wasn't mm -hmm. it? And a little bit of honey. Now what we do is just take our sauce and fill it in a squeeze bottle. So you've got the carrot puree mm -hmm. on the bottom and the wonderful truffle potatoes on top. And next, y'all, Patrick's going to add the wine reduction along with a wonderful basil oil. All we need is... Here we is go. the beef, baby. All right, here we go. <laughs> Where's the beef? Let's put that guy there. And we're going to plate the other one here. Don't. I'm going to get all this stuff out of our way. All right, a little more red wine, a little basil oil. Plate the other stuff. <laughs> you here. see, I'm bellying up. Oh. Okay. Now, when yeah. I eat a steak, Patrick, mm -hmm. I have a favorite place that I like to start on the steak. Okay. This is my favorite spot right here to start. Oh, the corner. Nice. Yes. Perfect. Look at that. Mmm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's not bad, huh? Mm. You can taste that truffle, a little bit of that truffle mm -hmm. oil and potato. It's not too mm. dominating. Mm. This is fabulous. Mm. The flavors well, of those truffle potatoes and that reduction of that wine and those carrots. That's this the... is yummy, y'all. Now remember, save room because we have the chocolate molten love cake coming up for dessert. And we'll definitely save room for dessert, right? I'm ready for a little love, baby. <laughs> We're going to take a little bit of chocolate. OK, Patrick, but I'm taking my steak with me, buddy. <laughs> Perfect. Double boiler here. Paula, you want to do a favor for me? And you want to crack five sure. eggs? And uh, what we'll do with the eggs, I'll measure out some sugar. And we'll take the eggs in with their sugar and we'll cream them just okay, a little bit. Okay, we'll do just that. 
and Patrick's using six ounces of a bittersweet chocolate along with a fourth of a cup of sugar. And uh, I'm going to let that chocolate melt. I'm going to take a little bit of the butter. I'm just going to throw take those shells lot right of butter. down there in the garbage disposal. Just throw two sticks mm -hmm. or a half a pound, either or. And then we're going to take a rubber spatula, kind of melt this up, get it going a little mm -hmm. bit. We've got that in a double boiler, y'all, so that it won't scorch on us, right? Correct. We just want to infuse and incorporate and marry the chocolate okay. and the butter together. Mmm. Okay, we're gonna let that do the work here. Mm-hmm. Let that go. And uh, I'm gonna take this whisk, cream this a little bit. You don't wanna whip too much air into it. We don't wanna achieve any type of air mm -hmm. like most cakes. I have some cake flour here. Okay. And we're gonna do two tablespoons. And it's always pre-sifted, so we get a nice okay. fine texture. Don't want the lumps. This is almost a flourless cake, isn't it? Yes, we use very little just to hold it all together. You can do flourless, but then it will become a chocolate ganache. Mm-hmm. Okay, chocolate's melted. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, you want to take the chocolate on top of yeah. melt that there, and we're just cooling it so we can temper our eggs in with our chocolate so we don't make scrambled eggs. Okay. And then you'll notice as it comes down to temperature because okay. of your ice bath, you'll actually well, bring it's, in the... Well, it's starting to thicken up yep. right now some, Patrick. You ready? Yes, I am. They don't look like they're scrambling. Well, That's a good sign. That's a beautiful sign, right? Yeah. I'll tell you what I'm going to do is get these rings ready for the chocolate to go into. OK. And what we'll do is, uh, Paula, we're going to spray the rings on the sides. Uh -huh. Don't be afraid. OK. We'll make sure it's okay. nice so it comes out after baking. This is getting so thick. Mm-hmm. That's perfect. It's looking great. OK. And we're just going to take a little flour at the end here. Does it and just matter? just fold it in. To, okay, Yeah, fold. we don't want to whisk it because that'll incorporate air and then okay. we'll get too much height. And this will make it nice and dense. Okay. And what we're going to do, Paula, we're going to bring that over here. Mm -hmm. And you want to do the honors of yes. doing in the ring? Okay. What, do you, you want to just do something like this? Yeah. So how, how full do you want me to? Halfway up the ring. Just halfway, halfway up. up the because ring. we're gonna, it's gonna elevate a little bit and then it'll sink a little bit, uh -huh. kind of like a cheesecake. Okay. I didn't make too big of a mess. No, nope, that's did perfect. I? <laughs> Let me get these in the oven. And Patrick says we should bake these at 375, y'all, for about 10 minutes. Just time enough to fix your guest a cup of coffee. That's perfect. Coming up, Patrick's making an unbelievable sauce to go with our dessert. Well, I love all those flavors going on in my mouth right now. And his wife, Jenny, stops by to share in our lovely sweet ending. I can see why you love this man. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. So we're making now what? A little raspberry coulis. It's just a natural okay. puree of uh, some beautiful red raspberries. And what am I stirring here? That's a simple syrup. You're taking just fresh raspberries. Mm -hmm. Take a full pint. And then we'll take some of that beautiful simple syrup that we made. Okay. I have some ready here that's already cooled down. Oh, okay. And it's uh, four ounces, so. You want to do the honors? Yes. And we're going to put the whole thing in. You're going to put, I would say, three quarters of that in. Oh, OK. About perfect. right there. Yep, perfect. And we're just going to puree it a little bit. OK. And if uh, you want to go ahead and uh, just force that through a little bit without the seeds, and I'll check the cakes Okey here. Okie doke. Patrick, this sauce is going to be fabulous with your chocolate molten love cake. I'll make the plates up. Three of us today, correct? Okay. We'll take a little bit of that cream anglaise. Three? Who's the third one? Well, it's the chocolate molten love cake, so I figured, you know, I might as well make one for my love of my life. That's there the freezer is. girl. Yes. <laughs> well, hey, freezer woman. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Well, come on in now, Jenny, and pull up a seat. Now, is that what they're supposed to look like? Mm -hmm. A shiny center, like they're not. Ooh, ow, ooh. You okay? <laughs> Yeah, it was getting hot. You're still cooking a little bit because uh -huh. the rings are metal and the sheet pan's a little warm. So by the time mm -hmm. we plate it, it'll be perfect. All right, you have squirted the butterscotch on there, mm -hmm. a little 
creme anglaise, and I don't know who you're kidding with that little dot. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so does he make this for you a lot, Jenny? Absolutely. That's why I married him. Was that the love cake? It was the love cake. It was right? the love cake. And what is this? This is a little pistachio twill that mm -hmm. we make at the restaurant. I put a little of this raspberry coulis that we just made. Mm -hmm. It'll go well with the chocolate. The smell is heavenly, y'all. The chocolate smell is out of this world. I love the simplicity of this recipe. Throw a couple blueberries, a couple raspberries. Now, I'm helping myself. No, it's great. I'm going to take a seat over here. Let's dig in. OK. okay. <laughs> Baby, I love this cake. How does it taste? Y'all, mm. mm. this is incredible. Mm. Incredible. All right. Maybe I still love mm. you. Well, you still love me. All right. <laughs> the love cake is still in. <laughs> I can see why you love this man. <laughs> this is true. This is fabulous. You were so sweet to come All in right. and, and share your hospitality and your recipes with everybody. And I hope that when folks come to town that they'll work in a, a night to go to Noble Fair. It really is a beautiful, quaint little restaurant. And Patrick will be at the stove. All right. Not to worry, yeah. right? Yes, ma'am. Thank you for having us. This well, is and wonderful. thank you, Jenny, for coming in. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if y'all enjoyed this week's full episode Friday, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, friends. <laughs>